Hey, Boachi, God bless you. Man of God. Bishop Sylvie, God bless you. Phoebe, I salute all of you in Jesus' name. It's good to know that you are alive and well. You are among the living. Come on, celebrate God for being alive. It is good to be alive. I thank God for you. I thank God for you, all of you, to know that you are alive and well. The Spirit of the Lord is, oh, I love you too. I love you too, man of God. I know the school is doing well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord is doing some wonderful things. Indeed, without the Holy Spirit, we couldn't do it. We could not even survive. We could not survive a day. Bronxy, God bless you. Without the Holy Spirit, we could not survive. And so we are so grateful. Rebecca, God bless you. Spirit move over me. Patricia, God bless you. Oh, spirit move. Come on, let's worship for a minute or two, all right? Holy Spirit, moving on, moving on, make my life. Hold again, oh spirit move, spirit move over you. My prayer is that the spirit of God will move in your life like never before. Come on, sing it and worship. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on, move in the life of your people, Holy Spirit, today. Make their lives whole again make our lives whole again spirit move oh apostle Allen Allen you still my son you better call me all right <laughs> I love you I love you oh yes Holy Spirit come on let's worship for a minute or two all right moving on make your life whole again oh spirit move spirit move oh hallelujah miss lynn henley god bless you come on let's worship a minute or two we need to worship him for a new day a new day remember this is the eighth month eighth month what a wonderful month what a wonderful month oh my goodness he has not finished with us no oh hallelujah yo oh, yes it's time for the church to rise up and say holy spirit move again in us May the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Truth, move in the church one more time. One more time. One more time. Lord, this is my prayer. One more time. Let us see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. One more time. One more time. Oh, yeah. Come on, worship. Come on, worship. Come on, worship him. All right, come on, let's worship him. After all, what do we worship? Let's him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Oh, spirit move. Spirit move. Yes. Debbie, rich love. I salute all of you. I love you. I love you. 
my prayer for all of you is that the Holy Spirit will move in your life like never before oh oh yes come on let's worship him just worship him just worship him just worship him for this this one minute just even this one minute for the day that he has made oh yes Lord yes Lord Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Beloved, we need to know the Holy Spirit personally. We need to know the Holy Spirit personally. We need to know the Holy Spirit personally. Personally. Camille. Oh, Camille, not today. <laughs> But God bless you anyway. Hello to you, Camille. Heal my heart. Restore my dreams, Lord. Lifting me up to face life again. You are here, Holy Spirit. Oh. Bless you too, Debbie. God bless you as well. <clears throat> Beloved, today I want to just talk to you again about the Holy Spirit. Now, let him be your best friend. All right? Trust you slept well. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, move, 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 move. Hallelujah. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We are so grateful for sending us the Holy Spirit. We, we thank Him for sending us the Holy Spirit. We thank Him for sending us the Holy Spirit. And beloved, we are so grateful to him. We are so grateful to him. Let's have a word of prayer, okay? Our Heavenly Father, <clears throat> we thank you this morning for, and this day, this is the third day of a blessed month of August, which carries so many good things. In the numerical sense, is a, is, is a number of a new beginning. And so our prayer is that we will be aligned with that divine plan of God in this month of a new beginning. 
God, nothing is new for you, but it's all new for us. This is a new day that we have seen. Many thanks to you for waking us up among the living. We are grateful. It is a privilege and we thank you for it. We thank you for it. Many are they that have not seen this day. Even yesterday they were alive, but this morning they are not. We thank you for keeping us alive and uh, granting us opportunity to know you even better. Most importantly, thanking you for the Holy Spirit, sending the Holy Spirit to be with us. For had it not been for the Holy Spirit, oh Lord, we would not. So we pray that we get to know the Holy Spirit much better, much better in our lives. Bless each and every one on this platform and for those who are yet to be even. Lord, I pray for everybody. My sincere prayer is that we will come to know who the Holy Spirit is. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Amen. 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 Bless you too, Phoebe. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, today, I want to continue with you and talking to you about the, the Holy Spirit. All right. The importance, the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to talk to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay. The power of the Holy Spirit. Beloved, I want us to um, just get this. All, all right. We, we, I, we want to get this seriously in our, our, our mind, in our understanding that um, the Holy Spirit it's so important in our lives as believers. The Holy Spirit is very, very important person in our lives. If you have ever thought that you, somebody is so important in your life, uh, beloved, let that be the Holy Spirit. The reason I'm saying this is because uh, um, he's, he's, he's the third personal person of the Godhead. And uh, you know, God is a covenant keeping God. He doesn't break his covenant. Uh, we broke our covenants with him so many times for which I, I, you know, let me just put it all together. It was becoming so ridiculous. And for God so loved that which he has created, he loved the world. He therefore said, you know what? These people break their covenant so much. I can't handle it. Let me send. <laughs> And this is, this is just, this is my own, this is my own rendition. Are you listening? This is my own rendition. And that for God so loved the way he gave, sent his only begotten son, that whosoever, therefore, whosoever, be before it was all, for all, everybody, you know, he, he had a covenant with man. So this is what you do. And this is your part. This is my part. And that is in the Old Testament or in the Old Covenant. Are you listening to me? But as a result of breaking it consistently, all right, we are hot today, cold tomorrow, not being able to handle the, the covenant. And, um, you know, the, the, uh, the results that came, because, beloved, it was such that, the covenant was such that if you, if you obey all, you receive this, the blessings. If you broke one, you have broken all. So let me give you an let me give you an example of the Ten Commandment. Patricia, God bless you. All right. If you if you if you are if you are able to obey nine and you broke one, you've broken all. You've broken all. That's how the commandment was. That that is, and we're talking about over five hundred commandments. And so, beloved. It was difficult for man to keep the law. Very difficult. Rachel, God bless you. It was very difficult for man to keep the, the, the law. And for God so loved us. He says, you know what? I'm going to give man another opportunity. Allison, good morning to you. Good morning. All right. And so let me send my only begotten son. And remember that 
if you break the covenant mary john god bless you praise the lord for from india um you, you know for for the remission of sins it takes blood it takes blood and so blood has to be shared um the high priest according to scripture has to take blood to the sanctuary to sacrifice for the sins of the people once a year just once are you listening to me now how are you telling me you sin just once a year no consistently so you know it, this is my i'm putting it in my way god couldn't handle this anymore it's like many this is too much let me just do this once for all for man and that is i'm sending my only beloved beloved son begotten son and that therefore he's going to share his blood all right watch this now he's going to share his blood once for all no more sharing of blood now whosoever believe on him will not perish there and then will have everlasting life whosoever so now the question becomes whosoever receive jesus now so jesus came he did all that he took all our sins and curses now remember that <clears throat> if you also broke the law it was it's, it was rather curse that came came upon you all right so he took our curses and then all i mean cleared all our sins with his precious blood on the cross of calvary okay now so now it comes to man that man this is now an option that you have if you choose to receive him and believe that what he did you have you are in if you choose not well so you see the difference because in that old it was what we did all right it was what we did that which was so difficult we couldn't and so he gave us this 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 chance if you will so now it is so whoever now jesus i want to talk to you about the holy spirit today i'm talking to you about the holy spirit i want to make a point so that when jesus came the bible says that um, the time came for him to be baptized by john john was a forerunner of jesus leading the people <clears throat> excuse me leading the people into repentance by baptism baptizing them in water immersing them in water which we still have it today but it it didn't it it didn't stop right there so you see the reason why i'm talking to you about this i want you to see the picture so you see that jesus himself came to be baptized by john now when jesus came to be baptized when jesus um, john saw peter he says no no i'm sorry when john saw jesus <laughs> i'm coming to Peter. when so when john saw jesus he says no 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 I am not the one to baptize you. You are to baptize me. Well, Jesus says, no, for the sake of scripture, let this be done. Okay. For the sake of scripture. Why? Because John knew who Jesus was. He said, and, and he, he, he testified of him that the one who is even coming after me, um, I am not even worthy to untie his sandals and all that. Now, when Jesus came to be baptized and watch this now watch this scripture tells you and i that the holy spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove the holy spirit now if i have to even take to the holy spirit just reminded me of something i have to just take one step back the the mother of jesus herself mary was approached by the angel and gave him you know this message that he, she is going to be conceived by the holy spirit by the holy spirit not by the 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 man joseph in her life but the holy spirit so jesus was conceived by the holy spirit now the holy spirit came upon him when he was baptized in the river jordan okay which some of us have been there all right oh yes we've been there live been baptized in there got got in there and all that anyway it's still there and um the holy spirit came upon him in the form of a dove and there was there's a declaration from heaven that behold this is my beloved son in whom in whom i am well pleased all right as a confirmation 
of who he was the Holy Spirit came now watch this now after that the scripture says then the Spirit the Holy Spirit took him or led him into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan he didn't go on his own he did not go on his own accord so beloved what am I trying to say what I'm trying to say to you is for you to see the importance of the Holy Spirit in your life as a child of God if Jesus has to be empowered by the Holy Spirit that is why I in I believe that he was able to 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 outsmart the devil Satan now most of the time we underestimate Satan and um, and uh, and how long he's been around the guy has been around for a long time beloved don't 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 be twisted with that don't be twisted with that he, he was he was a very key person um, before God scripture tells you and I that as a result of his disobedience and you know whatever he took upon himself wanted to oh he thought he could overthrow God if you will and they kick him out so Revelations chapter 12 tells us that and gives us the inhabitants of the earth we the inhabitants of this earth that we should be very careful because that guy has been thrown down here as my father, scripture says that heaven rejoiced when he was cast out of heaven heaven rejoice if you go to Revelations chapter 12 you see there heaven rejoiced but a warning was given to us so when Jesus came he Satan was here on this earth okay and he says ah okay the beloved has been brought down here to help the people to lead the people back to God well let us see how he's going to do it and so he was tempted in every area of his life scripture says but yet without sin because he was not a sinner he wasn't he wasn't born a sinner okay you and I were born in sin as a result of that the treason that was committed in the Garden of Eden by our first parent. Okay, so therefore, therefore, he, Jesus, has to go through all that you and I go through on a daily basis, for which most of the time we, we fall short one way or the other. But scripture says that he did all that yet without sin. Now, he was empowered okay as I told you earlier that the Holy Spirit came descend, descended upon him and then then he was you know led out there to start his ministry so when Jesus says that these things that I do you will also you can you will also do this same thing and even more more or greater things greater works greater works see where that word came from greater works shall you do you have to understand what Jesus was saying that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you you will be able to do these things I'm doing because remember the the, the the ministry of Jesus lasted for only three years only three years now you have been around for more than three years so Jesus was saying that when the Holy Spirit comes upon you you will do all this I mean you can do greater greater works would you do okay so what he's saying is that beloved without the Holy Spirit you cannot do great things now whether in your personal life or ministry life or whichever life without the Holy Spirit you cannot do great and, and great and great and mighty things you can't the Holy Spirit was so important that when you come to you know even in the new dispensation after the baptism of the Holy Spirit and and all for which Peter has been empowered by the Holy Spirit and all that there was a Bible tells us that there was a, a guy by the name of Simon he was a sorcerer he thought that he was so he was so he was so enthused about that you know the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit that he thought he could buy he could buy the Holy Spirit from from Peter that's why I mentioned Peter early on okay he thought he could buy it. Now, that is how important the Holy Spirit is, beloved, as a child of God in your life. And so Jesus did all these things. And so 
his time came that he has to depart and he gave a promise he gave a promise that listen if you go to um, go to uh, John chapter 15 all right John chapter 15 verse watch this John chapter 15 verse 26 all right go with me let me show you something real quick John chapter 15 verse 6 Jesus gave a promise that he's going to send the Holy Spirit watch this <clears throat> and the Holy Spirit will come now we see that the Holy Spirit came okay before the, the, the he did when he, before he departed he told us the the, um, the disciples okay to go into all nations and preach the gospel all right Matthew chapter um, um, uh, the last book of Matthew you see there however I just I don't want to go ahead of myself now but before he said to them that well don't yes go in and preach into all nations but wait first in Jerusalem until the Holy Spirit has come upon you wait until the Holy Spirit has come upon you before you go why because the Holy Spirit is the one who will give you the boldness that you didn't have before is the Holy Spirit that will give you the tenacity that you didn't have before the Holy Spirit will give you the confidence that you didn't have before the Holy Spirit will give you the power, the authority that you didn't have before. So wait for the Holy Spirit before you go and do or preach the gospel. Are you listening to me? So they waited in Jerusalem. And uh, scripture says that in the day of Pentecost, the day of Pentecost came and they were all together in one, in one accord. And the Spirit of God came. I mean, it, it, was, it was awesome. It was awesome. All right. Now, then after that, Peter, Peter and John, and you know, this, this prayer and Peter and John, you know, started, um, and it was even a time that he had to go to prayer in a sanctuary. They, they saw this lame guy um, who was, it's always been put in front of the church building to ask for money. It was a beggar. Peter and John says, we don't have no money what we have we're going to give it to you all right hey flow the ones my brother god bless you all right so um peter and john told this lame guy listen we don't have no money all we have is what we can give you because listen beloved this is why i always say that you can only give what you have and most of the time because we want to try to impress somebody and all that you know let me see what i can do let me see what i can do and we end up disappointing people and that kind of stuff beloved i've been there and it's not good it's not it's not anyway so this is listen all we have is the holy spirit so in the name of jesus <laughs> in the name of jesus because there's a power in the name are you listening get up and walk well the 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 rest of the story of the whole thing was hi um florence all right was that the the guy got up and everybody was hey what's going on this guy who how did you get up how did you get up he says well look at these two guys it became something else that describes the, the the chief priest and all this you know religious people heard about it and so they sent peter and you know john to be arrested and brought before them to answer the question as to you know in whose authority were you doing this well remember now because peter and john have now been empowered by the holy spirit now they were able to do that Beloved, what am I saying? You are not able to do anything in terms of the, the God-given potential in you unless you've been empowered by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or unless you take some other, other power somewhere, which is just a temporal situation. Why? Because Jesus said that when the Holy Spirit comes, He will be with you and in you forever forever so if the holy spirit is in you and with you 
he's with you forever other other powers is temporal so that's why i say that now so they were able to do this now they were arrested and uh, because of the time it was the ninth hour i was getting late so they put them in prison and brought them out the following day for them to answer question as to in whose authority they they healed or the this um, lame guy was healed by them and peter now the same peter who once was afraid of the same scribes and uh, the chief priest and all that said with all boldness you see what you see what happened shannon god bless you you see what happened when the holy spirit is in you you have so much courage and boldness you're not afraid of anything why because fear is no longer part of you see the holy spirit is now the holy spirit of god is now living in you fear and the spirit of god cannot coexist fear and the holy spirit cannot coexist in the same temple so some of you who are living in fear check yourself is the holy spirit dwelling with me and is seeing me because they can't coexist so peter was now bold courageous because now the holy spirit has taken over fear is gone are you listening he was not afraid anymore so you, you i mean when the holy spirit comes you're not afraid of tomorrow yeah today things are not going the way it is and hey, tomorrow is coming i don't know how i'm gonna pay this bill i don't know how i'm gonna do this i don't know how i'm gonna do that beloved yeah i'm telling you we all go through why because we all have issues <laughs> oh, yeah. but but with the holy spirit you're not afraid so peter was not afraid and he told them that yes the 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 jesus whom you crucified if you want to know in whose name and authority we are doing this is is the jesus whom you crucify who promised us the holy spirit and the holy spirit has come maybe you didn't hear all right about the pentecost what took place you didn't hear well this is the demonstration of it now watch this bible says that they 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 concorded that the pharisees the sadducees the scribes the chief priests and all that they they planned to put fear in peter and john and told them you better man of god samuel nelson i salute you in jesus name he says listen they plotted and said to them let's put fear in them all right so that they don't go around you know preaching and teaching in the name in this name we don't want to hear it let's do what if you read the scripture you say he says let's put fear in them beloved the holy spirit and the spirit of fear fear is a spirit the holy spirit and the spirit of fear cannot coexist are you listening to what i'm telling you so those of you living in fear again check where the holy spirit is with you and in you where is he and so they they, they caution them the bible says peter and john that you better not go out there and and continue talking and mentioning this name and, and doing all that but one thing that was interesting one thing that was interesting is that they said among themselves the pharisees and the scribes and all that they said among themselves that wait a minute these people they are not um educated right we know that these people are not edu educated they are not educated so how are they able to do this uh -huh. when the holy spirit comes upon you beloved it has nothing to do with your education listen you can study the hebrew the hebrew the greek the 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 whatever you want now you remember these people have not studied nothing peter was a fisherman peter was a fisherman all he knows is fish he knows how the fish talk he knows how they smell you know that's you know, that's all he knows i'm talking 
thing about the Holy Spirit that has nothing to do with your education. I'm not talking about education. The Holy Spirit makes all the difference. So beloved, see, this is why you have to be very careful about how you judge people and, you know, um, how you, you think somebody is not qualified. You know, and how somebody is, is, when did they start and when did they end that? See, that's the same, that's the same self-righteous attitude that they had concerning Jesus. It is, it, when did this guy came? I mean, we were we when, we, where were you when we were we? Oh yeah, that's a self-righteous, you know, stuff. And, and I, sometimes I wonder, I was, I was sharing with Joyce yesterday. I said, Joyce, I think when we get to heaven, um, the attitude of Christians, if we take this attitude to heaven, it's going to be, God was, I mean, I think God would rather leave us in heaven and find somewhere else to go. <laughs> Why? Because it's like, man, I mean, this one think is better than this one. This one is not talking to this one. This one is there. This one, everybody want to be on top. On A. Hmm. Anyway. And so they questioned them, cautioned them not to talk about it. But he said, but these people were not edu educated. And that is their fear. That uneducated people are doing what they think that they, sh they should be doing it. They should be doing it. They think. God is not a respecter of persons. I, have you, I, thought, I know you've heard that before. He is not. He's not a respecter of persons. Are you listening? And so, and so they went on and on and on. And so you see that after the Holy Spirit has come, look at what they, now they are able to do. All right? Now, watch this now. The Holy Spirit also is a helper. Jesus said that. And that's why I asked you to look at, go with me to John chapter, uh, the 15th chapter of John. And uh, let's look at the 26th verse quickly. All right? He says, the scripture says, But when the helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of truth, all right, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. And so, beloved, not to say that Jesus has left and gone. Yesterday I was listening to some young guy who was saying that Jesus, you know, was lying that, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, first he says he's going, he'll come back again. And then when he says, I tell you the truth, I'm going. And it means that he's now telling the truth that he's not coming back. <laughs> Sometimes you hear some stuff, you wonder, oh boy, oh boy. Anyway, so Jesus says, he says, when he comes, he will testify of me. Watch this now, verse 27. And you will bear witness because you have been with me. You have been with me from the beginning. Because from the beginning, they saw the things that Jesus was doing that they couldn't do. Remember how many times that um, they brought sick people to, to the disciples and they couldn't heal them. How many times? Yes, because they had not received the Holy Spirit. They had not received the Holy Spirit. Jesus has received the Holy Spirit as a result of his bap baptism in the in the river Jordan by John. Remember the, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit came upon him in the form of a dove. Right? And heaven declared, Be, Behold, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Obey him. So when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and so you see, now, he says, Jesus says, because you will testify of me. Why? Because you have been with me from the beginning. Of seeing what? Of seeing the things you were able to do that we couldn't do. Oh, it's because of the Holy Spirit. So when you are testifying of me, you are testifying of me because now you have received the Holy Spirit and you are able to do the things that you saw me do that you couldn't do and even greater things 
you will do as Jesus promised because you are now empowered by the Holy Spirit you are now empowered by the Holy Spirit so in that old dispensation you couldn't do no wonder we couldn't do we were breaking the covenant every time and anytime you break the covenant it, it was curse that came upon you according to scripture I didn't say that go and read it yourself go and look at the the, the, the agreement between God and man in the old dispensation go 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 if you go to um yesterday I asked you to read um, uh, Deuteronomy um, 28 you see the blessings and the curse that comes with it if you obey the commandment blessings comes upon you whether you are in the, any country or in any city it don't matter it don't matter you'll be blessing the country you'll be blessing the city it don't matter where you are but if you also if you also okay Natalie God bless you if you also break the law curse also comes upon you in the same country whichever country you are in or whichever city you may be so there's no way we couldn't do it that was the, the, the deal between God and man then and for so God loved, God so loved the world he says you know what these people can handle this let me because it took the priest only once a year to even go to the sanctuary and, and use the the blood of lambs or sheep or whatever to sacrifice for the remission of sins and so, beloved, I am bringing your mind as a child of God to you that when you have been baptized in the baptism of John, by the, by the immersion of you in water, you, you also need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because that is where the children of God's empowerment is. That is where our authority is. That is where our boldness is. That is where our courage is. If not, the enemy then takes advantage and replace that with fear. Because beloved, in this life, there's no vacuum. I remember when I went to school, they, I don't know what is it, chemistry or biology or whatever, one of those things, they said, air occupies space. Yes, it does. And so, uh, you know, you, 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 don't, you don't see the air, but it's, it's occupied everywhere that they blow on you. Yes. So there's no vacuum. There's no in-between. Jesus said something the other day. He says that, um, therefore, let your yes be yes and no be no. Anything in-between is of the devil. Because, listen, the devil takes opportunity of our ignorance about these things. Are you listening to what I'm saying? He takes opportunity and then uses it against us. He takes opportunity and uses it against us, our ignorance. And that is why Paul, see Paul said something the other day. He says, he says, now we are not ignorant about the devices of the devil, the scheme, the strategies that he uses, lest he takes advantage over us. The devil only takes advantage over our ignorance. And he's, he, I mean, he smited on us like you never, you will never be, believe it. And so this is what will empower us as children of God. Are you listening? So you see that even, I mean, the children of God who are empowered like Peter and John, they were, they, they demonstrated their lives through the Holy Spirit. That it was so attractive I believe that people will be attractive by our lifestyle to want to follow us to church and all that when we we have been empowered by the Holy Spirit what's why, why I'm saying this you see that when this layman was healed the Bible says that he didn't just run up and just go and tell everybody he followed John Peter and John he followed them now I understand Watch this now. Now I understand why Donna's Hambibi. Hey, son. Good morning, Allison. Watch this. Now I understand why, why Jesus healed people and they follow him. 
Jesus has just go. Don't tell anybody that even did. But they will be following him because that attraction was there. It was the attraction of the Holy Spirit that when, when he had touched them, they don't want to leave. Beloved, I believe that our... Listen, right now, right now, uh, le, le, can, I, can I be sincere with you? Let me tell you something. Yes, we all need money to pay bills and all that. But let me tell you something. I want the... I, I, if there's more of, more of the Holy Spirit, that's what I want. More. Oh, I need, I want, I want everything of the Holy Spirit. Because I, I want my life to be attracted. I want, I want people to follow me. I want, I want, I want, I want to see that people have, are excited about the Holy Spirit. That like the, like, like the, like Simon the sorcerer, he was, he was so, he, I mean, he, he was so attracted. He told, he said to Peter, can I, can I buy the Holy Spirit? Can I buy? <laughs> oh my goodness. Beloved, I'm giving you a secret. I'm telling you, I'm giving you a secret. I'm giving you a secret as a, as a Christian, as a child of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. My goodness. I, I, I wish I had this understanding early. The Holy Spirit. He, he, he said, can I, can I buy? And listen to what Peter said. He says, oh, you have that evil in you. You think the Holy Spirit is for sale. Let your money perish with you. You see, you see why I'm saying that, yes, it's, it's good. It's okay to have money. It's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, you have bills to pay. So you, in, in this life where we are living, it's money is the exchange of money that um, get us going and so if you get your money paid you know money to pay your bills get some food on your table whatever fine but i'm telling you peter didn't say that yeah give me the money oh i don't know about these days i don't know about this dispensation we live in here peter he says let your money perish with you why because you know what the holy spirit was more than money the holy spirit was more than money for Peter. Peter never lacked anything. See, pro when we talk about prosperity, prosperity is not lacking anything. That's prosperity. It's not just money. Prosperity is not just money. Prosperity is not lacking anything. Are you listening to me? Not lacking anything. And if you are, if you are financially rich, but yet you lack something. I mean, look at Solomon. Solomon had everything. He lacked, he, there was one thing Solomon lacked, and that obedience. And you tell me Solomon was, was, was all that prosperous. Solomon wasn't all that prosperous. When you lack, you lack something, you're not prosperous. Prosperity is, is everything. Gee, scripture says that, it says, gee, beloved, I pray that, that um, you, you 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 prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers your soul prospers so if your soul is not prosperous <laughs> don't tell me you prosperous even as your soul prospers so you see when it comes to the holy spirit beloved you you it's you the child of god i mean the holy spirit will help you in your in your business the holy spirit will help you in your because you see what Jesus said he says when the helper comes when the helper comes he will help you in everything in everything he will help you in everything beloved we need the Holy Spirit I I, I don't know but okay uh, so pastor how do I get the Holy Spirit how do I how do that yes you need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit you know what you know what um, 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 Paul said to some of the disciples I believe they were not there they were not part of, of, of uh, they, they were not part of the, the Pentecost but you know they have they have been baptized by John and you know they uh, you know they were out there spreading the, the word of repentance and all that and um, 
Paul met them and says that, uh, um, have you heard about the Holy Spirit? And they said, no, we haven't heard about, we don't know about the Holy Spirit. We don't know about the Holy Spirit. So, so in, in whose baptism were you baptized? They said, well, we were baptized uh, in the baptism of John. And they said, Paul said to them, well, that is true. But John said that the one who was coming after him, okay, was more greater than he, he John, and therefore obey him. And, and this person also said that he, at the time of his departure, that he will send the Holy Spirit, okay? And when the Holy Spirit has come, he will then empower you. Now, the Holy Spirit has come. They say, oh, really? We don't know about the Holy Spirit. Say, yeah, the Holy Spirit has come. And so, Scripture says that Paul laid his hands upon them and baptized them in the Holy Spirit. And they received the Holy Spirit, began right there, watch this, began to speak in tongues and prophesy. They began right there to speak in tongues and prophesy. As in the day of the Pentecost, scripture says that when the Holy Spirit came upon them, each and every one began to speak in tongues. That is the language of the Holy Spirit. Began to speak in tongues. Beloved, let me caution you here. Don't try to learn tongues from somebody just because you know you like the way it sounds from somebody that you are hearing praying or speaking in tongues. It's not something you learn. You have is a language of the Holy Spirit, and He will give you that language, whatever style or sound it may be. Remember, in the day of Pentecost, they didn't speak the same tongues. They didn't pray in the same tongues. They didn't speak. They didn't vocalize in the same tongues. You see that the, the awesomeness of the tongues was that the people who are standing around says, wait a minute, how come we hear these people speaking in our language, in our dialects from different countries, the Bible says. I mean, that to, and, and this is me. This is the gospel according to Pastor Patrick. <laughs> Bible says that they came from all nations. To me, that was the first United Nations meeting. They were from all nations under heaven, the Bible says. All nations under, under heaven. They were all there. And each and every one had one speaking in their language. They were speaking different tongues. So, so beloved, don't try to... Tongues is not learned. It's a gift. It's a gift. It's... It's a, it's, a, it's a holistic gift. It's a divine gift that Bible says that when you speak in tongues, you speak mysteries. You speak mysteries. Things that, I mean, you don't, your, your, your carnal mind don't even understand what you are saying. Are you listening? We'll get to, the, we'll get to that later on. But it's so important that I let you know this, that don't try to learn tongues but receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and He will give you that gift. Are you listening? He will give you that gift of the tongues for it's a language that you speak, the heavenly language. Are you listening? So you see, I am giving you this picture here of the fact that the Holy Spirit is so important in your life and in my life as children of God. We need the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, when he came on Jesus, Jesus was doing all those things. So ask yourself, why was Jesus doing the things that his disciples who have been with him all this while, they couldn't do? Because he was empowered by the Holy Spirit. They were then able to do these things that Jesus did. Remember Peter? If Jesus, see, Peter, Jesus raised the dead, right? Peter, at that time, was with Jesus. He didn't have the authority to raise no dead. Jesus raised the dead because the Holy Spirit was upon him. Lazarus, right? Remember? 
in the time of Peter, when Jesus was not there, he had, you know, be gone back to the Father, and the Holy Spirit has come and was now on Peter. Peter now raised the dead by the name of Tabitha, Docas. Have you heard that before? Docas. When Docas was dead, who did they send for? They sent for Peter. Beloved, you see the Holy Spirit? Ah. Oh, boy, 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 boy. I, I know I'm blessing somebody. Beloved, we need the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes in your life, oh my, I just caught this revelation. When the Holy Spirit comes, dead things in your life gets resurrected. Yeah! I just said that. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, things that are dead becomes resurrected. When Dorcas was dead, they sent for Peter. Because why? Peter was full of the Holy Spirit at this time. And the scripture says when he came, people were crying and all that because of who he was. Now remember, Dorcas was a good woman. Did so many good deeds. So many good deeds. He, he, she used to, you know, sew the, the tunics and things and like they gave people. Beloved, you are a Christian. It's not enough without the Holy Spirit. Yes, I said that. It's not enough without the Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit more. I need more. I have Him. I receive Him. But I, I, I want double more of Holy Spirit. <laughs> they sent for Peter. And when Peter came, he prayed. That's what he did. There was this impartation. Oh my goodness. I love it. I, I, I don't know about you. But I'm loving this. I am loving it. I am loving it. The Holy Spirit will resurrect dead things in you. Peter prayed, okay, prayed, prayed, and he held Docas, the dead Docas, and he said, Tabitha! <laughs> and the Bible says that Docas lifted herself up, gave her some eat. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Can I talk enough about him? I, 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 I don't think so. I know you have. Listen, I respect your time. It's a, it's a, it's a work day. Maybe you took your, your break time, um, to, to listen to me, and, um, and I appreciate it. I really appreciate your time. Because I want to share these things with you. And um, I am assigned as a minister of the gospel to preach the word. Now the Holy Spirit, is, I'm not afraid anymore to preach it anywhere, anywhere, anytime. I am not. And you should not. You should not. You should not. Some call him Holy Ghost. Some call him teacher some call him master some call him paraclete some call him advocate but I call him a friend yeah I call him a friend he's my best friend I rely on him whether I have it or I don't have it Peter didn't have it he didn't have the money, but he has the Holy Spirit. He had the Holy Spirit. Peter didn't have that. He had the Holy Spirit. He says, he says that um, such as I have, give I unto thee. All right? Such as I have. Such as I have. Beloved, what do you have? Do you have the Holy Spirit? Huh? Do you have the Holy Spirit or you don't have the Holy Spirit? You need the Holy Spirit, beloved. I, I, I give you the Holy Spirit. 
let me pray with you right now now before i do that if you don't um have if you have not received jesus as your lord and savior the one who sent the holy spirit remember what he said he says that the holy spirit witness i mean what whatever i have the holy spirit takes it and he proclaims it to you are you listening and so you need him you need jesus make him as your lord and savior today and then we'll pray the prayer for the baptism of the holy spirit so if you don't know jesus as your personal lord and savior just pray this prayer with me right now say lord jesus i thank you for this message today i am convinced that you shed your blood to wipe away all my sins the one that i was to commit before i was even born the one that i have committed since i was born and the one that i will even commit ahead of me you've wiped it all away i thank you now i i make you my lord and savior i make you my lord and my savior come into my life and uh, be the head be the lord of my life i receive you now write my name in your book and show me now everybody lift up your hands even as we pray this prayer now holy spirit baptize me just say just pray that prayer listen open up your faith now open up your faith now and receive the holy spirit lift up your most holy faith and just say holy spirit baptize me wherever you are don't be shy maybe you are in a place where you don't want people to see because beloved if the holy spirit comes upon you i'm telling you just 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 ask him right now to baptize you just ask him ask him right now holy spirit baptize me i'm hungry for you holy spirit i need you i i'm thirsty for you holy spirit i'm thirsty for you holy spirit i'm thirsty for you i'm hungry for you baptize me and baptize me in my marriage in my work in my ministry in my job in my family holy spirit baptize me baptize me holy spirit holy spirit baptize me come on open open up your heart open up your heart come on open up your heart right now lift up your most holy faith lift up your most holy faith you will show me the way come on open your mouth right now talk to him right now holy spirit in my ministry holy spirit i need you i need a touch i need your touch holy spirit touch me come on touch me holy spirit i need you i need you holy spirit i need you holy spirit i need you all over me all over all over in your house all over at your workplace all right all over wherever you are wherever you are you need the holy spirit he will do you good he will do you good he will do you good now if you have given your life to the lord i want you to just um, be part of um, a bible teaching church all right that you can grow more in your walk with with god with him all right if you don't have one find one and uh, in the meantime just join me this and every morning you you realize that today i came in a bit early um looking at some of the time i one of my sons hambibi was saying daddy i'm missing you because the time you come i'm going and I, and i believe the holy spirit has spoken to me about that yes and um so today i said i will and um i said let me see the work of the holy spirit i did not even send invitation to nobody but you guys are so wonderful oh look at what the holy spirit does i am grateful i am just so grateful but i want to see him in you i want you to let me know i want you to let me know what the holy spirit has done he's doing in your life but receive him 
he's going to he's going to give you that heavenly language maybe you he's already he's doing it now maybe you feel like you feel like speaking speaking it out of your mouth beloved open your mouth and speak it nobody should hit you on the head or your back or anything no 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 oh the holy spirit we trust you i 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 trust you the holy spirit will cleanse you the holy spirit will heal you the holy spirit will 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 bring every dead thing in your life you will resurrect every dead thing in your life anything that is dead in our life the holy spirit will help us healing my mind oh you're making me whole move with your spirit ah take away my pain the holy spirit beloved the holy spirit you need the holy spirit i present to him i present to you the holy spirit it is not by might it is not by power it is by the holy spirit yes you can go listen you can go forward with the holy spirit you can go forward with the holy spirit you can make it with the holy spirit you will not fail you will not fail you will not fail with the holy spirit we cannot fail with the holy spirit we we i'm telling you remember what what god says he says in the latter days he's going to do something he'll pour his spirit upon all flesh hey he will pour his spirit upon all flesh and wonderful things will happen beloved begin you will see oh the holy spirit will do it the holy spirit will do it you will do it allow him into your life receive him right now come on receive him right now receive him right now beloved this is all i have for you the holy spirit presenting the holy spirit to you holy spirit come on let's worship let's worship him even as we receive the holy spirit spirit move holy spirit over me over me spirit move spirit move over me oh holy spirit moving on moving on make my life whole again yes spirit move spirit move over me spirit move come on i'm telling you beloved you need the holy spirit in every area of your life are you listening we need the holy spirit all right we need the holy spirit <laughs> oh is it enough can i go can I go or can I leave you? But I want to leave you before I leave. I just want you to know that you need the Holy Spirit. I mean, that's this is all I came to talk to you about. You need the Holy Spirit. Hey, Freddy. God bless you. I pray that the Holy you allow the Holy Spirit to work in you. We need the Holy Spirit. He will do marvelous things, marvelous things. Ah, beloved, share this broadcast, okay? Do me a favor, share it with your friends and your loved ones. Let them know that it's not enough to be a Christian going to church without the Holy Spirit. We cannot be empowered. We cannot do the things that we are meant to do. Are you listening? But we can do all things. All things. All things. We can do all things. Are you listening? May the Holy Spirit be your portion. 
receive him now receive him receive him the holy spirit holy spirit move upon your people as you did in the day of Pentecost as you did as you did it as you did it holy spirit move in every area of our lives move in every area remember Jesus says when he comes he will be with you now if the Holy Spirit is with you and you are going to school wouldn't he be with you if the Holy Spirit is with you and you are married wouldn't he be with you in your marriage unless you don't know him if you are working and the Holy Spirit is with you don't you think he will help you in your work your relationship he will do it the Holy Spirit will help you in every area I'm relying on him you do too and let's see if he will disappoint us then we don't have anything but beloved we there's so much evidence so much evidence to see to know to believe to believe that the Holy Spirit is with us now you and I must receive him you and I must receive him oh Holy Spirit I am so hungry for you I am hungry I'm thirsty for you I'm so hungry I need you than anything oh yes beloved Simon the sorcerer he wanted he thought he could buy because he thought it was for sale Sometimes I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when the Holy Spirit takes over, it takes over. Beloved, all I want you to know is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. You can do more than more than anything if you allow the Holy Spirit to be in you. Welcome Him. Just continue to worship Him. Just continue to just just ask him to just ask him to baptize you i'm giving you a little a, just a little few more minutes to allow the holy the holy spirit to baptize you all right ask him to baptize you right now yes holy spirit baptize me move 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 in me now make my life whole again where i am i know this is not where i'm supposed to be Holy Spirit, renew me. Holy Spirit, restore me. Holy Spirit, engage me more in where I'm supposed to be. Align me with the, with the plan of God for my life. Holy Spirit, align me. Put me in alignment. Beloved, that's supposed to be our prayer. Holy Spirit, put me in, the, in an alignment. Align me. Align me in the... To, to be in alignment in the plan of God. Remember, God says that the plans He has for you, they are plans of good and not evil. Somehow, some way, you, you have been distracted and you have moved out of where in that alignment. You know, those of you who have cars, you know, when your your, your car is out of alignment, the car don't drive smoothly. Alright? Things are not going in in because you are you are out of alignment beloved the things you are going through now maybe it's because we are out of alignment so allow the ask the holy spirit to baptize you ask the holy spirit to baptize you ask the holy spirit to baptize you so that you can be in alignment Holy Spirit, baptize me, baptize us, so that we can, we will be in alignment of the plan of God for our lives, for our lives, so that we can do all things that we were created to do. Beloved, it's not enough just to be going to church without the Holy Spirit. You need, 
the, you need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit must be with you Monday to Monday or Sunday to Sunday. <laughs> oh, Debbie. Yes, indeed. You need the Holy Spirit to take you, mold you, use you, and fill you. No, well, Debbie, he has to fill you and then use you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen to that. Oh, I love you, Debbie. Yes. Oh, Holy Spirit. Just, just baptize me. Baptize us now. Listen, I pray the baptism of the Holy Spirit for you right now, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice. He's not a respecter of persons. Holy Spirit, come upon your people. As in the day of Pentecost, as in the day, oh God, that the, uh, the disciples received you. We, we, we are your disciples now. We want to see you. We want to see, we want to see you as you did for Jesus. You did for the disciples. Do it for us. Now, baptize us, Holy Spirit. Baptize us right now in the name of Jesus. 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 Oh, God bless you. 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 Holy Spirit, baptize me. Baptize us. Holy Spirit. God bless you now. Join me the same time. Join me the same time. Just... Turn on your notification buttons on your phone so that um, we will be together again. All right? Just go and allow the Holy Spirit to just, just move. Just move. So beautiful. So wonderful. Oh, such a sweet spirit in this place. Such a sweet spirit in this place. Such a sweet... Oh. I know the Holy Spirit is, is with you now. Come on, don't you feel Him? Don't you feel the Holy Spirit? Don't you feel the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is not about, about goosebumps and it's not about falling under the power and all that. No, He helps you in every area. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, beloved. Hallelujah. Um, listen. Same time, same time and any time. All right, join me even as we remind ourselves of um, who we are in Christ and that we are to live a full life with, with the Holy Spirit. But without the Holy Spirit, we will be struggling. That is a fact. That is a fact. We will be struggling. And um, because I know what I'm, I'm saying, I know what I'm talking about. And so allow the Holy Spirit to take over and um, help you in every area. Jesus says he's our helper. He's our helper. All right. He's our helper. May the Holy Spirit be with you. All right. Please go to my, um, uh, the website of this ministry, Patrick Quino Ministries, and um, be a support. To this ministry all right we I, i've told you earlier we want to get this uh, device that will help to you know broadcast this in a in a larger scale okay now this we are in, in a technology world and that um i can be here and enrich a lot with the gospel and so i need your help all right you can do that through through paypal if you go there uh there's a button say donate support all right, donate, click on it. You can do that through PayPal. Or if you want to do that through um, 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 uh, Cash App, all right, the number for you to use that for the Cash App is area code 914-572-9816. You do, do use, a, use that number for a Cash App support. And um, let's, let's get this equipment and reach out, all right? Reach out with the gospel reach out with the gospel you are part of this and so be part of it and let's do it may god bless you i want you to know you don't have no trouble 
So you see, we don't have no trouble. All we need is our faith to be activated in God. And beloved, in all you're getting, get understanding. God bless you.